Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video for Vlogtober, I will be doing a day in the life where I am making some grand pumpkin spice pillberry rolls. I um, wanted to make these pumpkin style, so I'm going to make them into the shape of a pumpkin, but I should have just stuck with my gut and did it the way I wanted to. So, I'm opening up the can. There's only five rolls that come in these cans, so it's very easy to um, not have leftovers. It's also easy to do the TikTok recipe with these cinnamon rolls if you would like to. Somebody say, don't be afraid of love in yourself, cause that is all you got. So with these pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls, what I decided to do was just like take some of the end piece and make it into a stem. And then you also could just choose to keep it the way it is and then um, add your food coloring. So I'm gonna be using green and orange food coloring to add onto my pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls in today's video. But first I have to let them cook in the oven like it's supposed to on the package so 21 minutes and then in the meantime i'm just dividing the icing into two parts where i'm doing green as the smaller part and then orange as the larger part what i do know is that you guys can also go onto google or pinterest and find icing recipes where it makes it thicker and it makes it to where you have more using the icing that they give you in the package. Wondering if it is forever or is there some place that'll make her feel better make her feel better and that's where she'll go The green that I'm using today is just going to be as the stem and then the orange part is going to be as the pumpkin. These will turn out great no matter what way you make them. At the end of the day, I definitely would like give it a 20 minute grace period instead of what it's recommending just so that they're not so hard and then again if you try the TikTok method it will make it even moister so with you putting the icing on as soon as they come out of the oven it tends to melt that icing so that it spreads to other places Being that there was only five cinnamon rolls in that pack, I also decided to make me some grits and some coffee. With the grits, I normally love to add Kobe Jack cheese and let it melt in there, especially if you have shredded cheese or even if you have sliced cheese, do it while it's hot because you can easily melt the cheese. I'm still running the humidifier. Sky wanted to get up and paint this morning, so obviously I feel like she was feeling a little bit better. Um, I feel like she... Um, really just needed like the humidifier medicine and then that hot steamy shower that I took yesterday. So today I decided to pull out her water beads and what you have to do is every teaspoon you add three cups of water. So I did a couple and put it into this big container here. That way in a couple hours she could play with some water beads and just be a kid. So I'm letting those sit for about four to six hours. That way she can play with them later. Currently I'm lighting up a Ashland 
vanilla chai candle that I got from Michaels. Michaels from time to time has really great deals on these candles. Um, they were four for 10 when I bought this one and the pumpkin spice one that I have in the bedroom. But for right now, I wanna make sure that I don't run through my candles too much. I wanted to create um, a green tea and honey drink for Skye because I felt like that would also help with her um, little cold, whatever it is she's going through. So putting two of these in with some honey and some hot water, I thought would kind of soothe, you know, her throat. Come to find out she didn't even drink it. She just took one or two sips and said it was nasty. Well, it's supposed to be nasty so that it can help. So for really quickly before lunch, I decided to go ahead and boil some more water and I'm going to make some of this cavatappi along with that Trader Joe's pasta sauce that I cannot pronounce. Sacio de Pepe maybe or Quequeo de Pepe and um, I made some pizza rolls with it. I'm just emptying the sauce into this pan, letting it cook on low, and then adding in the cavatappi again. That way it just makes like a little pasta and I'm adding in some Parmesan cheese on top of that and hope it turns out good. And it did, so I definitely would make it again. Y'all, this man said I record everything. What do I not record? Oh, you! <laughs> Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, y'all. I'm making me some french fries. And I got some pina colada. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she hit. She hit just like it did. <laughs> Whew. Oh, that's my cue for my fries, y'all. Look at my fries. Yes. You got that tone seasoning on it. Right here. Friday tones seasoning. It's good for fries, vegetables, and chicken. Oof. To get toasty up in here. I'm going to go watch a movie with my bae. Right, bae? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm looking for candy man. <laughs> Take these fries, yo. <laughs> so for dinner, I pulled out some pork chops. I went ahead and just like made up some flour batter using some spices like seasoned salt, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, you name it. I wanted to make these for dinner along with some gravy and some chicken flavored rice unfortunately you guys will have to just continue to watch to see how the gravy turned out
sorry y'all so it's it's over sunday is over back to reality tomorrow dinner didn't turn out the way that i wanted it to the pork chops turned off fine but it was the gravy the rice was fine too chuck's washing dishes i just finished up with sky's hair and now i'm just putting things away getting things ready because before you know it it's 705 and we'll all be in bed so yeah y'all i'll catch y'all in the next vlog peace out Sunday evening to end off with a hour long video from Peaks. I'm getting ready to have some fall tortilla chips with some fall harvest salsa and some water at 7.38. Now I gotta find my sauce. I found it.